Come on, Ruby, I've got a breakdown to get to. What's she doing up there? Her hair. Well, we're going to be late. Come on, we're going to be late. Tell her she can't go to her and Jack's big party tonight. Mm, well, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? We're going to get her down. Anyway, not a big party. It's just a couple of mates, bit of pizza with Jack round at the bistro. Mm -hmm. She's got other ideas. What? I've brushed her teeth. She's invited half our school. Have you brushed your teeth? Look after them. I don't want you forking out what I've had to over the years. These have cost me a fortune. Ruben, make sure you brush your teeth, please. You go if you need to. I'll take them to school. No, I, I quite like to uh, take I'm them. I'm not going to sell them. You won't get anything for them. <laughs> no, I like to take them, but thank you. It's OK. Granny kids can take it. Go on. Oh, finally. Hope tells me you've invited after school tonight. Snitch. It is what it is. It was supposed to be a bit of pizza with a couple of mates. It's going to be much bigger than that. Is it? Yeah, there's going to be prezzies and surprises. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, I think so. Those boots? Look, um, we better get going. I'm going to be late for school. Go on, you go. Say bye-bye to your dad. Bye. Bye to your dad. Have a good day, girls. See you later. Why doesn't this door shut properly? Why isn't my son at work? Yeah, well, you'd think everything would be good in a house owned by a builder. All good builders' houses are falling apart because we're all busy doing paid work. Yeah, well, it's been like this ever since we moved in. Yeah, I know, and I'll get round to it. But right now, I am costing Miner on his project. So if you don't mind... You two should have partnered up years ago. I know. Yeah. Everything going all right? Haven't you got something to be getting on with? Yeah, no, I'm OK for a minute. Is everything OK? Yes. Yeah, so that's you, Ronnie, me, all of us. Yes. Mm. Except for Auntie Marcel, and Mum's looking after her. She must be knackered. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe do something nice for her when she gets back. I'll bake her a cake. No, take her somewhere nice, like a, a weekend, or oh, even longer, rent out a nice villa somewhere, you know, that'd be nice. Well, that would be really nice, but uh, we're not looking at holidays right now. Of course not. Well, at least fix the door for her before she gets back. Why don't you do it? Me? We get that you want to choose the right apprenticeship, but... Yeah, well, I'm not rushing into the first thing I see. Well, while you're deciding, could you please just go into college? We're going to get a load of hassle. From who? College! Right, say they're winding you up as well. We might as well just stay away from them. Max. What have I missed? Oh, just the first ten minutes of your shift. No, no, it's fine. You're here now. It's all right. Uh, I could finally go home. Oh, and uh, those tables, I'll do with the white pad. All right. OK. Yep, you. Yeah, banging. Ah, nice of you to make an appearance. Sorry. All right, I know you'll make it up to us. Right, well, I'd best be off. Yeah. Hey, you were nice chatting to you yesterday. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought maybe we could hang out later. Well, I, I would love to, but I've got college. Oh, you in today? Yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah, I know, Garth. No, 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 it's all cool. Uh, council tax yeah. installments due next week. Yeah, we've got enough. Oh, just. I'm going to go and see Shelley later on. Right, well, um, I'll let you know as soon as the Eagles landed. All right, buddy, over and out. I'll nip down the precinct later, yeah? I'll see if there's any shifts going anywhere. Or I'll go into town. Would you have to find somewhere else? No, I'm not working for Henry Newton. Well, I could chuck in a bit more. Oh, no, you give us more than enough as it is. Yeah, but I could bung in extra. You're not exactly minted, though, are you? Well, I don't have half as many bills as you. I suppose. No, ma'am, this is my mess. I'll sort it. Someone will come up. It's got to. Hey, I've come to give you a hand. What are? I'll take our tie rooms. I've got a lot of making up to do with that boy of mine. Well, I think I'd take more than a coffee to any round. Right, it's nearly lunchtime. Do you fancy the Rovers? Well, that could help. Hi. Usual? Uh, please. Listen, um, I've not had a chance to ask you, thanks to not having a single minute together, but have you had any more trouble with Dean? Oh, no. No, I think that's all history, thankfully. You've just got to tell Tay about it. Yeah. Yeah, when the time's right. How about now? I just... I 
I just don't want to upset him, you know, with it being Ruby's party. All right, yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard. Yeah, I'm struggling to find the right time to tell him about catching you with your hand in the petty cash tin. It's best if it all comes from you, do you think? Okay. Is that Tyrone's mum? Yeah. Bit of a surprise, eh? I mean, she seems nice enough, though. Hit the spot. Hey. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, it did. There's a way of the fairies sitting over here. Eh? Missing Yasmin. <laughs> yeah. You know, I could uh, really do with speaking to her and all. But, you know, it, it, neither of us are very good on the phone and the time difference between here and Pakistan doesn't help. Why, what's up? Well, it's Eliza. Uh, uh, not, not so much her, but it's a, it's a dad. You know, she's always going on about him. Dom this, Dom that, Dom's brilliant. Now she wants to spend all day with him tomorrow. And that's the problem? I'm just worried that she's going to get so wrapped up in him, she won't be bothered to see her man. Nah, she's a mum. She's just not around, that's all, and he is. And Eliza doesn't just have one bucket of love. She has loads of them, right? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. 